Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 18th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. So the link is down below. You're very welcome. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin and the last two days, Bitcoin has gone from 19,279 all the way up towards 23,751. So a fairly ridiculous move, which has had a major pullback at the end of, of Thursday's session. And I think that we will see an even bigger pullback at this point. Um, the reason for that is because we are very overstretched. If you look at the RSI, we're at 79 at this point, and that is after we have had this pullback. We were well above 80 at one point. We can see that the uh, CCI is basically becoming very overstretched. The stochastic is turning around, and the MACD usually turns around one or two trading sessions after uh, these two indicators turn around. So... Pay attention to these two indicators. They are are showing us, or basically trying to um, scream at us that this most likely will head back towards twenty thousand, and that is where I think we are heading at this point. But if you look at the, for example, the Bollinger Band, which is a very good indicator for to um, look at at this point, you can see that. We are fairly overstretched. Like, this is just a ridiculous move to the upside. And it is very likely that we are going to go back into this gray area in, inside the Bollinger Band because that is where the market usually basically trades. Every single time we break out of the upper part of the Bollinger Band, you have a retraction to uh, downwards. Every time we break the lower part, you have a retraction uh, upwards. And that is what there most likely was go is going to happen here. I don't say that it's going to take probably one or two trading days, but it's highly likely that we're going to see a pullback towards 20,000 in the next few days. So this is a very hyped market at this moment. Everybody is talking about it. And therefore, a lot of uh, people are basically buying this. But at some point, Big institutions are gonna pay a, basically pull the plug, and they're just gonna see it. You're just gonna see this fall roughly ten to fifteen percent, and then people will start basically buying it again. So to buy it at this stage is just ludicrous. So pull back towards twenty thousand. That is basically the buying opportunity um, if you are interested, basically at buying at this point. Um, we can also look at the weekly chart. As you can see, we are at 88 in the weekly chart. So back in 2017, when we hit 20,000 and basically broke all the way down to 3,000, we hit an RSI of 93. And we were at 93. We were actually 94 at one point today. And we can see that we are starting to pull back. And even in the, in the weekly chart, this just looks ridiculous. If you look at the Bollinger Band for the weekly chart with here, you can see how far we are basically outside of this parameter. Last time we did not even close to this was here, and then we fell roughly, what was it, roughly the 15%, and is probably what's going to happen here. So the previous highs were 20,000. And that is probably going to be the floor on this market. We're going to maybe tomorrow or on uh, definitely and sometime in, in next week's sessions, we are going to see a major fallback towards 20,000. And then people are going to start buying this again. Because at this point, I think that is going to continue up. I don't think that we're going to see a similar move as we saw in 2017, where we fell all the way down towards the 200 moving average. But you can just see this move here. This just isn't sustainable. We are far outside the Bollinger Band. 
and also back in 2017 when we did exactly the same thing. It just completely collapsed all the way down to 3,000. So just keep that in mind. The buy it here is insanity. So this is a very uh, crazy move, but this you're just playing with fire if you to think about buying it at this stage. But pullbacks toward 20, that is more reasonable then you basically can start buying it again. So let's look at Ethereum. I can get rid of this. So very similar thing here. We have rallied all the way up towards 668, give or take 670. And then we have a pullback. So at this point, we are also significantly overbought. We are at 80 in the RSI. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish, but pullbacks towards the 500 or a pullback towards 500, that is what I do expect for this market. If you look at the, the Bollinger Band for Ethereum, we can also see that we are very overstretched. Last time we did that, we fell, well, the same 10, 15%. And that's what we're most likely going to witness at this point. So a pullback towards 500, there is your entry point for a buying opportunity. You have the 20 exponential moving average right underneath here, and there is most likely where you can enter this market. So we look at the daily chart, it's even more extreme. You can see how far above the Bollinger Band we went today and then broke down again. And at this point, most likely going to head back towards the middle, which is the 20 moving average. So... In the daily chart, this is not significantly overbought, but we are in the weekly chart. So just keep that in mind. Long term, we are overbought. And that is a, basically a massive yeah, signal that we are most likely going to see something similar to this in probably starting tomorrow or in next week. So I'm not trying to be pessimistic here. I'm just trying to be realistic. History basically tells us what is going to happen. When we break significantly outside of the Bollinger Band, we are going to experience something similar to this. And we can go all the way back in time, for example, here, massive pullback, and even go even further here, we have this massive pullback. So look at the Bollinger Band, look at the indicators. They're basically trying to tell you what is going to happen here. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.